assumed before the game it was going to play just like that, uh, you know, back and forth, uh, tight throughout. Uh, you know, uh, Doyle was a special guy here. Uh, um, and so uh, it just adds a little bit more significance to a rivalry that doesn't really need a lot more. Uh, and so for us in this time, at this moment, uh, you know, this was an important game for us and an important result for, for lots of different obvious reasons. What about your team's flag being down 4 nothing in the first quarter and then coming back to obviously win it? Yeah, when I you know, think of the game, you know, we, I thought we played for about 50 minutes, really. Uh, you know, we just uh, were standing around defensively early in the game. Offensively, too, we, uh, we uh, threw the ball away a couple times and... Uh, you know, uh, but to, to their great credit, they dug in after that, and I thought we uh, we, we never sort of let up, you know, Hopkins either, and uh, and it was a battle throughout. So uh, you know, like I said, I would have liked to have had to start back, but uh, but again, uh, it's in the end, it's the it's the final result that matters. What did you think of the play from Mike there in overtime to, to seal it? Um, I'm happy for Mike. You know, he's one of those uh, kind of gym rat kids that uh, is always around the game, very excitable and. Uh, and, uh, you know, he's been on the edge of breaking out and something like this, I think, could, uh, could really mean a lot to him and uh, going forward. And so, uh, you know, you're better off, half the time, you're better off just attacking in the unsettled game, not calling the timeout and getting something organized. And, uh, and that's sort of what we did. Coach, after the 4 nothing lead, uh, you guys hold him scoreless for almost seven minutes. What did you guys adjust defensively? Um, all we talked about was... Uh, you know, I felt like they weren't really winning the individual matchups, but we were just we were just ball watching on the inside. So all we did was was tell the guys to make sure that uh, you know we needed to have some help getting ready to go out to a Dodger, but everybody else had to you know had to have more of a relationship to their own guy as much as anything else, and that's what it was. So of late in the game, the adjustment that they made was that they just started coming after us one on one. They were attacking our short sticks. Uh, so in the beginning of the game, where they were banging the ball around, uh, you know, and and finding guys open on the inside. Later on, and when we when we were able to tighten that up a little bit, they wound up going to uh, going to more individual play and just kind of trying to run over us a little bit, which they had some success doing too. Coach, you guys had obviously a pretty tough loss against uh, the Hopkins in the tournament last year. How does coming back and beating them on your home turf kind of um, vindict that? Um, I'll, I'll be honest, you know, I, I don't think a lot about the, 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 those things. I mean, like I say, what I'm mostly concerned about is this team where we are at this moment, you know, and uh, and uh, we, we've been working awfully hard, you know, and but 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 we needed a result against a good team. And, uh, you know, and so uh, the fact that it was that our season ended with Hopkins a year ago, I, I don't think added a lot to this. Uh, but at the end of the day, like I say, the, 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 this was an important result for us. Well, I just I saw a short stick on me, and I figured that'd be a good time to go. Um, I knew we'd be getting the ball back with the flag down, and uh, I just gave it a try, and it, and it worked out. Obviously, a long-standing rivalry between you guys and John Hopkins. What does it mean to win the Doyle Smith Cup? Uh, it's extremely humbling, and it's, uh, it's something I'm very grateful to be a part of. Take us through that dog pile. What was it like being at the, at the bottom of that after scoring the game winner? Uh, I've, I've never been underneath one of those in, the, in, uh, in college, so that was very exciting. and. Uh, you know, it was it was just really exciting to get the win at the end of the day with my teammates. We've been we've been working for a good win against a good team, and, and we and we got one. So it was nice. It was relieving. Uh, he made a great play. There was flag down, so uh, it was a it was a good play to risk and go underneath. And uh, yeah, it was it was unbelievable for him. I mean, I'm I'm happy, so happy.